How's it going, everybody? I'm Cliff, this is Tech Endeavor, and this is gonna be a two-part video tutorial series. On the first part, we're gonna be building a to-do application using React, and then on the second part, we're gonna come back and actually build the back end using Node and Express. You know, if you just wanna learn React, you can watch the first part. If you just are interested in Node, you can, you can just watch the second part. They kind of stand alone but they're going to come together in the end because once we get them both built we're going to link them together and then our front end will be talking to our back end and kind of get your feet wet across the entire full stack of web development without further ado let's get into the tutorial all right first thing we'll do is pull up our terminal your command line and We'll say npx create react app. And then we give it the title of our application directory. In this case, I think react to do app will do just fine. Run that. Maybe go have a bite. All right, once that finished, we want to move into that directory. Now that we're there, let's open it up in VS Code. So first thing you're gonna notice is now we have a bunch of files and folders in our directory. Um, create React App gives us this boilerplate to get started. We're gonna end up deleting a lot of this stuff because we're not gonna need it for this project, but I want to walk through really quickly and give you an overview of the important parts. So we'll start with the package.json. This right here is going to hold all of our dependencies for the project, all of our dev dependencies once we get some installed. Um, and then it also comes with some scripts right out of the box. These scripts we can run to do different things in our project. Um, the one that we're going to be interacting with the most is start. And I'll show you when the time comes, how to actually use that. But for now, I just wanted you to know, to be aware of this file here, this is a very important file in any project you'll do. So moving right along, we have the index.html. This is essentially the file that is served up to the browser, and it's the container file where your app is rendered. If you look here, you have the div, a div with an ID of root. React actually looks for this div and it puts your it injects your app directly into this div. Um, I'll show you that in the browser in just a minute. Next thing here, we want to look at index.js. To kind of reinforce what I was just saying, you see here we have the document dot get I get element by ID of root. So what this does, this React DOM dot render function, what this does is it finds this element and then it injects your application into that element onto the page. The service worker stuff, you don't have to worry about that right now. You got your index.css.css file. Our app.js, this is the number one component that will hold every other component in your application. So each one of these this function app is considered a component. Um, this is a functional component. You also have class components, but we're not gonna be using class components in this tutorial. You'll see at the top here, we import React from React. That's number one in every component that you create, and then whatever other files or dependencies or anything else you need for this component, you'll import it here at the top, all right? So let's start this thing up and look at it in the browser. We'll do that by running that script, npm start. Whatever you have set as your default browser is gonna open this up there. And there we go. If we look at this, you'll see here's that div, an ID of root. 
And there's your app injected into that div. Pretty cool. Now I'm running Firefox Developer Edition. You can really do this in whatever browser you want. Um, I would suggest either this or Google Chrome would be your best options. They have the best dev tools. I would also suggest installing React Developer Tools. They're going to give you uh, better expanded developer tools for React itself. And you'll see here, you got a couple of React specific items in your dev tools. Here you'll be able to see your component tree. Um, we'll circle back here and I'll show you how this gets laid out. Right now, the app is the only component you have in the application. You probably noticed here, this is uh, this looks a lot like HTML. What this actually is, is JSX. JSX is a HTML-like syntax, which allows you to write basically HTML within a JavaScript function. So to show you how this works, let's do the old hello world. Very excited. There we go. We look back at our inspector. We'll see. Hello world is now in the DOM. So now we got a lot of extra fluff from the boilerplate. We just want to get rid of a lot of that. So we'll remove the fav icon. Move these logos. Don't need the manifest or the robots. Robots is um, kind of dealing with SEO. We're not worried about that here. Get rid of the other logo. <laughs> uh, service worker, that's gone. Set up test, we don't need that. App.test, we don't need that. So we'll delete those files and then we will delete where they're imported within the files. Get rid of the service worker stuff. Go over to index.html. Now, it's not completely necessary to get rid of all this stuff, but I just like to have a clean slate. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Now we can name this whatever we want here. That all looks okay with me. Look back in our browser, see if we're still rendering. All good. So one new thing that comes with Create React app is using React in strict mode. What this does is it gives you an expanded console debugging tools. Basically, it's one of those things they give you for free out of the box, and it just helps make your life a little bit easier. So we'll leave it. Okay, I want to show you this. Rearrange some things. Um, you can press Control back tick on VS Code, and it's got this terminal integrated into it. So this will relaunch our app. So while this npm start command is running, this has hot reload. So we'll save. It re-renders. All right, we're gonna stop there for now. We've got our boilerplate set up. We've got our Create React app installed. Uh, we got it all cleaned up, ready to go. We've got it working in the browser. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come in and we're gonna build our first component. So check that out in the next video. I'll see you there.